subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends, so in this video we will discuss how to recover a vCenter server 7.0 from a backup. So first of all you need to mount your uh, vCenter server 7.0 installer. So I mounted here. Go to your UI installer. Select version 32 and execute that installer. Now we need to define some parameters here. So here we are going to restore our vCenter server. So first of all you should deploy a new vCenter server then it will restore them. So I am selecting this restore. Next. Accept. Next. And here you need to specify your backup server. So I am going to specify my backup server is username and password. Select your path, restore your backup, then next, review all the parameters, next, and here you need to define your ESXi where you are going to deploy this vision to server. So username and password. Then your vCenter server machine, root password. Select your deployment sites. So I deleted my old vCenter server from my ASXI host. So I am going to select Tiny. Next. Choose your data store and I am going to enable the thing provisioning. And here you need to specify your parameters. So it's automatically pick up all the configurations like the IP address. You can change those parameters. Okay. Next. So it will take you few minutes to complete this initialization. So first stage. <coughs> so first stage completed. Now we go to the second stage and click on continue. Just loading your stage 2. Next, restoring from backup. Next. So if you have any password, you can type your password here. But my backup is unencrypted, so I'm going to click on next. So it's saying shut down the original vCenter server before you proceed to our the network content. So I have completely deleted my vCenter server. Let me check again. There is no vCenter server on my machine. Yeah, it's no one. Okay. So finish. So again, it will take few minutes to complete this restore process. So it's completed now. Let's try to access this web uh, URL. Launch our server, and I'm going to log in with my single sign-on credentials. So now look there, uh, we can find our, all the configurations here. Okay. 
So like that you can uh, restore your vCenter server from the backup. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates.